Hello and Will, and welcome to our guide to media regulation in Women in Black. This meant that pretty much anyone could go and watch it with their parents, any age, below 12 or anything. And this film has some quite harmful stuff on it. So pretty much could give some people very harmful psychological stuff. Ah. Hi Sam, what do you think? This could do some real bad psychological damage to some of the younger kids. This is because as their mind's young, it hasn't quite developed. And they're really easily influenced by stuff like on TV. So the copycat theory comes into play, where they copy what's. <laughs> you see, he's copying the running that he sees in films. Just leave me alone, I'm swallowing my sliders! So the copycat theory is where someone like a child sees stuff on TV and then technically they just copy it. There have been many deaths which have been linked to it. I'm not 100% proved because it's not possible, but I've been linked to stuff like where they've seen stuff on TV and then technically pretty much kill people. Oh, I'm on fire. One case where murder has been linked to the copper cat theory was the death of Jamie Bolger. In this, he got abducted at a shopping centre and then taken to a train station and murdered by two kids at a similar age. The psychologists linked to this to the film Chucky because they watched the film the night before. So Ollie, what do you think of this? It's horrible. Disgraceful. And I love being sad. The reason the production company, which was Hamfilms Productions, wanted it to be a 12 year old was because it meant they could reach a much wider audience so that they could pretty much just make a lot more money. It was because it meant they could reach a much bigger audience and FNAF, which made their financial. Oh. <coughs> Jump with any outings, <laughs> which is obviously got. It's with Jamie Bolger. Why can I not? I, like, I didn't even do anything wrong there. I just. I put on my blue <laughs> pants. That with the outtakes. That's it. Yeah. Bad. <laughs>